Um, one of the first things I did when I came back home to the Catholic Church is, and I think the Holy Spirit uh, inspired me in a lot of things from, from the beginning of that reversion, as they call it nowadays, um, to educate me in a hurry, because God had to do a lot with me in a short period of time. Um, and one of the first things he did was I systematically read about 500 lives of the saints. I went through and read 500 books on the lives of the saints. And that gave me a pretty good cross-section of what saints looked like. And I can tell you something. Certain consistent things about them. They all had a deep love for the Blessed Mother. They all were absolutely faithful to the Pope and the Magisterium of the Church. They were faithful to the authentic teaching of the Church. They were not rebels. They were not dissidents, not a one of them. They, and they, they'll, sometimes they like to use St. Catherine of Siena or, or St. Teresa of Avila. Oh, they, they were, they didn't, you know, they rebelled against, nah, uh, 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 uh. no, they didn't. We, in the first place, we just named two doctors of the church. Uh, sometimes they're used in feminist circles. They say, well, Catherine of Siena chastised the pope. Well, chast uh, Catherine of Siena was a good, strong woman. You know, because, because a, a, a woman is a saint, uh, or a man, e either way, doesn't, either one, uh, doesn't mean uh, that, that, they're, that they're speechless or remain mute in the face of evil. You know, Catherine of Siena told the Holy Father, hey, get out of Avignon and go back to Rome where you belong. But she didn't do it in an arrogant way. She didn't do it uh, as anything less than a faithful daughter of the church. Uh, she was very respectful, very faithful. She loved the Holy Father. Loved him. Now, to his disciples, Jesus teaches unconditional love of truth. You can't be indifferent to the truth. And you cannot be so naive and unsophisticated today to go with the flow and to accept everything that you hear, even from certain circles inside the church. That's not the church teaching. That's individuals straying from church teaching. It often happens. Jesus said, Say yes when you mean yes, and no when you mean no. All else is from the evil one. He's trying to teach us to speak clearly. Say what you mean. Now, there are no small number of so-called teachers and theologians today who do not say yes when they mean yes. They do not say no when they mean no. They would have us believe that nothing is clear. Their favorite color is gray, and it's not because I wear it, I assure you. <laughs>